He's an astrophysicist, a geoscientist. He spent 31 years at Harvard. He recently left, and he joins us here. Dr. Soon, thank you so much. Thank you, Tucker. I appreciate it. It's a blessing it. to be able to come on your show. Well, it's a blessing to have you. And this is such an interesting question with so many implications. Um, yes. And I want to spend most of our time talking about the implications. But just to the strict question of where hydrocarbons come from, it sounds like they're not necessarily all from ancient forests or plankton or dinosaurs, are they? Yes. Uh, the story can be a bit long, so give me a few minutes to yes. explain. You are certainly right, but most important to clarify is that the information that is found on the largest moon on, on Saturn, which is called Titan, yes. is actually results from NASA, European Space Agency, yes. and then the Italian Space Agency, who built this spacecraft called Cassini and Huygen. Actually, one of my thesis advisor committee is actually built the UV spectrometer. But the one that they used to discover this Basically, the ocean liquid, liquid form of methane, which is in ethane, ethane form, which is much more complicated hydrocarbon, is whole ocean of it. Because Titan is in such a way that it's very cold, by the way. So it's minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes. Hint, hint, hint. Where's the global warming there, right? If it's full of methane there, right? That's another problem because it's far away from the sun. That's what it is. Yes. And clearly that the question of a biogenic method, which means don't use, no need of any biology, is true. Because we know, actually one experimental experiment was done in 2009. It was done in Swedish uh, Royal Academy, one of those uh, groups. But it's done by one Russian leader. He was able to show that if you squeeze methane, CH4, in chemical formula, so four hydrogen, one carbon, squeeze them, in a form that in which they simulate the condition of the earth mantle, which is 1,800 miles deep, yes. kind of below the surface, because the earth is deeper, right? And it's within this 18, but basically the condition that is only about 40 to 150 miles in, that you actually can form complex hydrocarbon. You got benzene, you got ethane, you got all these other stuff yes. forming. So that proved beyond doubt that you have such a way to make this. Plus that Titan proved beyond doubt. You actually see Methane also, in all the atmosphere, Jupiter, you know, you even find benzene in the rocks of uh, Mars. And then for me, astrophysicist, I can tell you even more. You find this complex hydrocarbon called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon. It's another one of those complex hydrocarbon. Then actually you found it in interstellar space, between space within stars, intergalactic space. These are everywhere because temperature there are cold and probably the right pressure condition, 